Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into 10 mind-blowing features of Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra that will seriously upgrade the way you use your phone. So from screenshot tricks and S Pen magic to privacy hack and sharing from phone to PC, and I guarantee you, you learn something new. So let's aim for 1000 likes on this video. Your support really helps the channel grow. And don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment, and let me know in the comment section down below which feature you liked best. So let's get into it. Feature number one is where you can have screenshots which directs you to the website. So when you take a screenshot of a web page on the S25 Ultra, you can now tap a special link icon that appears just at the bottom, and this instantly redirects you to the original website. So here as an example, we'll go ahead and open up Google Chrome, and here I'm just searching for Model Y Tesla, Juniper model. So we'll go ahead and tap on, let's just say this one here. And let's just say you're shopping for a Tesla. So here we'll go ahead and visit this website. And let's just say I like this Tesla. So I'll go ahead and take a screenshot. And now I've taken a screenshot, I can go ahead and press home. Now next I'll go ahead and open up gallery and I'll go ahead and open up the screenshot which I've taken. So now when you look at the screenshot, you'll see the screenshot itself. However, when you tap on it, you'll see this small button here, go to the website. So you can go ahead and tap on go to website and this will open up the web page where you've taken the screenshot from. So no more hunting for links or re-googling it. It's a massive time saver for research and productivity on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number two is where you can take full page screenshots so on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use a scroll capture feature by swiping down on the S Pen or tapping on the scroll capture after a screenshot has been taken. So this will allow you to take full page or long screenshots on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up Google Chrome or Samsung Internet Browser. And here we'll go ahead and visit a website. So say for example, this website here. Now here, I want to go ahead and take screenshots of all of these information. However, this is a long page here. So I would like to take a full page screenshot. So in order to do this, I'll go ahead and activate the screenshot feature. This will take the screenshot. Now I'll go ahead and get this toolbar at the bottom here. I'll go ahead and tap on this down arrow, which will allow me to take whatever is at the bottom. So it'll basically automatically scroll down and capture whatever is at the bottom. So as you can see, this screenshot is getting longer and longer every time I press it. I'll do this until the end of the page. Now, once that's done, I'll go ahead and leave it there for a while. And now the screenshot has been taken. And now I can go ahead and open up my gallery, open up the screenshot which I've taken, which is the long page screenshot. I can go ahead and zoom in and read all about it. Now, if I feel something is missing again on this screenshot, I can go ahead and use this go to website link. I can tap on it and this will take me straight to the website. And here I can go ahead and read more about this article. So this is perfect for capturing entire web pages, chat histories, or long documents in a single image on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number three is where you can share websites from your S25 Ultra to your PC or MacBook. So if you want to share anything from your S25 Ultra to your MacBook or PC, you need to go ahead and find the share button in the Google Chrome browser and basically send it to a device. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up Google Chrome. In Google Chrome, you need to first make sure you're logged in to the same account. So go ahead and tap on the three dots, tap on settings, and then make sure you're logged in to this account on your PC or your MacBook, Google Chrome. Now, once that's done, you want to go back. Now here, say for example, you're watching this weather report and you want to share this to your PC or MacBook. So to do this, you want to go ahead and tap on the three dots. Now go ahead and find share. And now from here, you want to find send to device. So as you can see, tap on send to device. And this will basically show you where you are logged in. So currently I'm logged in my MacBook. So go ahead and tap on send to the MacBook, and this will automatically send to your MacBook. On your MacBook, you'll see a pop-up come up. Go ahead and tap on the address bar just on the right-hand side. Tap on that pop-up, and once you tap on that pop-up, you'll then get the same web page what you're viewing here on your MacBook. So this basically allows you a seamless transition from mobile to desktop, so it's ideal for reading, shopping, or continuing work 
on a bigger screen. Feature number four is where you can fill in forms using the S Pen. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can hover the S Pen over any form field and the handwriting panel appears. So you can basically write directly on a PDF and Samsung S Pen feature will automatically allow you to fill in that form and then save it as a PDF. So let me show you how to do this. So here I've got an S Pen out and I'll go ahead and open up the Note app. Go ahead and make this full screen. You know, go back to this main page here. Now to edit a PDF, so for example, a job application form, or maybe just a driving license form, you can go ahead and save it to your Samsung S25 Ultra. Go ahead and tap on this PDF plus. Now go ahead and find it. So I'll go into my download application and here I'll go ahead and just open up a PDF. So here, this is a six form subject entry requirements. Now let's just say, for example, I need to go ahead and sign this application. So I can go ahead and use the pen feature and I can go ahead and sign it. I can go ahead and highlight anything I like over here. Now, once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and tap on the three dots at the top, then tap on save as file, and I can go ahead and save this as a PDF file. Now I can go ahead and choose where I want to save it, give it a name, and now that PDF file has been saved. So now when we go ahead and open the same PDF file, let's just say open it in notes again, you'll see that all my changes which I've done has been saved onto that PDF file. So this is a fast and intuitive way of filling in PDFs on your Samsung S25 Ultra. No more paying for apps that can fill application forms for you. You can basically do it on your phone itself. Feature number five is where you can summarize a passage on your Samsung Notes. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can highlight a section in the Samsung Notes and tap the summarize button, which is AI powered. So it basically instantly gives you a condensed version of the content. So here we'll go ahead and open up Google Chrome. We'll go ahead and find a short story. We'll go ahead and copy the content of this. Let's go ahead and copy it. Now we'll go ahead and open up our notes and we'll go ahead and paste this content in this new notes. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. So now, as you can see, we have copied everything into our notes. Since this is a long story here, this is about three pages long and you don't read it. You can go ahead and use the Galaxy AI feature to summarize this. So in order to summarize this, you want to go ahead and find this Galaxy AI icon here, just here at the bottom. Tap on this and now here you can go ahead and tap on summarize. This will now ask you what selection you want to make. So we want to go ahead and select everything. So we go ahead and select to the end of next page and till the end of this story. Next, we'll go ahead and tap on generate summary. Now this will basically read that short story and we'll give you a summary here. So as you can see, Zane and Sam went to sweet shop where Zane, where Sam asked Zane to steal a bag of sweets. Zane refused, da, 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 da. and you can go ahead and read the summary of this short story. So this basically saves you time and helps student or professionals quickly grasp key moments or points from notes or their research. Feature number six is where you can hide apps and access them privately. So let's say, for example, you want to hide an app. So in order to hide this app, you want to go ahead and bring down your home screen customization, tap on settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find hide apps on home screen and app screen. Go ahead and choose what app you want to hide. So for example, Amazon shopping done and then press home. So now Amazon shopping has been hidden. So as you can see, Amazon shopping is nowhere to be seen as it's been hidden. However, say for example, now you want to access it. So now you have to go through the long way of basically unhiding it, opening up your home screen customization, going to settings, finding hide apps, and then here you need to go ahead and allow that. Now, this is a really long way of hiding apps and unhiding apps. So let me show you how you can hide the app and also access them privately on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here we'll go ahead and hide Amazon app. Now we'll go ahead and press done. Now, the next thing which we need to do is we need to go ahead and add it to our edge panel. So as you can see, it's already been added to our edge panel here. However, the edge panel is visible to everyone. So we'll go ahead and make it like this. That's invisible. And we only know where the edge panel can be accessed from. 
So in order to do this, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down, find display, tap on this, scroll down again and find the edge panels. Now you'll go ahead and make sure this is on, tap on handles. And here you can go ahead and find the transparency, size and the width. So you wanna go ahead and make this completely transparent. You wanna go ahead and make this small and you wanna go ahead and decrease the width. So as you can see, this is a small edge panel here. And then go ahead and choose where you want your edge panel to go. So now when you press home, you'll see that your edge panel has disappeared and you only know that the edge panel is here. So using your left hand or your right hand, you can go ahead and bring down the edge panel and then you can go ahead and open up the hidden app, which you've hidden. So like this, no one knows that you have the edge panel enabled here. And like this, the Amazon app is hidden on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So this is a total privacy. So no one knows the apps are there, even if they have your phone. Feature number seven is where you can add favorite contacts to your edge panel. So here you can go ahead and customize your edge panel and add the most used contacts for one tap calling or messaging. So no more going to your phone apps and then going through all these numbers to find your favorite contact. You can go ahead and open up the edge panel and you can quickly find the contact and go ahead and tap on it and call them right away or message them. So let me show you how to configure this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, then tap on settings. Next, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find display. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find edge panels. Make sure that it's turned on, then tap on panels. And here you need to go ahead and make sure your people panel is enabled. So there is a tick. Next, tap on edit. And then you wanna go ahead and add whoever you want to add to this edge panel. So you can go ahead and add all of these contacts. If you don't want to add it, you can go ahead and minus it. Go ahead and tap on it to add it. And once that's done, press home. And now when you go ahead and see your edge panel, you'll see all your favorite contacts. So to call them, just go ahead and tap on this and then tap on the call. And this will directly make a call. So you have instant communication without unlocking or opening the contacts app. So it's super convenient on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number eight is where you can replace a background on a photo using S25 Ultra. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, if you have a photo here and you wanna replace this white background to something else, so for example, this background here, then let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and replace this background with this background here. You can go ahead and download any background from the internet and you can choose your own. So first you wanna go ahead and open up gallery, go to the image where you wanna remove the background you wanna change it. So here, for example, I wanna go ahead and remove this person from this white background and add it here. So in order to do this, I'll go ahead and long press on the person here. This will now clip the person and will basically only select the person itself. It'll clip it from the background itself. Then I'll go ahead and use my finger and I'll go ahead and use my second finger and go ahead and move it to the background which I have already downloaded. Now next I can go ahead and increase this and then I can go ahead and tap on save. I can keep the current resolution, I can increase the resolution. Since I want a good picture, I'll go ahead and tap on increase resolution. And now as you can see, I've successfully changed the background for this person here. So I can go to the internet and I can basically find another background as well. So let's go ahead and find a background, view the background and I'll go ahead and move this person to that background. So again, I'll go ahead and select that person and go ahead and move it here, increase the size, tap on save. And now as you can see, I have completely changed the background for that person. So this basically makes a professional looking edit for social media or fun without the need of a Photoshop or any image editing software. Feature number nine is where you can turn on adapter sound for clear calls. So if you like to boost voice clarity, especially for users who are 30 or 60 above, then let me show you how to do this. So here you need to go ahead and first open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find sound and vibration. Next, scroll down and find sound qualities and effects, and then go ahead and find adapt sound. Go ahead and turn this feature on, tap on it. And here you can go ahead and choose, you want to adapt sound for media and calls or only media or calls. 
So I'll go ahead and just choose both. Next, you can go ahead and choose if you're under 30, if you're between 30 and 60, or if you're over 60. You can also add a personalized sound profile. So you can go ahead and configure this in a quiet place. If you go ahead and choose any of these options, you can go ahead and tap on settings, and you can go ahead and preview how the sound will come out from, which ear do you usually put your phone to, and your sound preference. So this basically boosts voice clarity, so it's especially useful for users between 30 and 60, or even 60 above, who may notice changes in their hearing over time. And lastly, feature number 10 is where you can learn to draw on your Samsung S25 Ultra with the S Pen. So if you want to learn how to draw on your Samsung S25 Ultra, your Samsung S25 Ultra have a built-in pen up app to access step-by-step -step tutorials and community drawings to practice your art skills. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll first go ahead and open up the pen up app. If you don't have it, you can go ahead and download it from the Galaxy Store. Now in the pen up app, it'll ask you to log in using your Samsung account. So go ahead and do that. Once that's logged in, you'll come to this page here. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on live drawing. Now you wanna go ahead and see what you wanna draw. You can have the newest drawing items here. You can go to the popular ones, or you can go to the books. So I'll go ahead and just choose one of the popular ones. So let's go ahead and draw the seal. Now I'll go ahead and tap on learn to draw. Now this will basically go through the step-by-step -step guide on how to draw it. So if you press play, it'll first show you what to do. So as you can see, it's asking me to draw. So once you're ready, press play, and this will now show you what to draw first. So as you can see, it's basically drawing a dark circle. So once that's done, you can go ahead and copy what they have drawn. Now press play. Now they'll draw the next part. Now go ahead and copy whatever they've drawn. So here I'm gonna go and draw the nose, draw the eyes, shade in a few parts. If you wanna zoom in, you can also zoom in and do that. If you wanna see the layers of what you have drawn, you can go ahead and see that. So this layer is basically what has been drawn and this is your layer here. So like this, you can go ahead and compare it. And once that's done, go ahead and press play and then go ahead and copy whatever is there. So this is great for relaxing, learning new skills, or tapping into your creativity side with the guided support on your Samsung S25 Ultra. And there you have it, 10 incredible features on your Samsung S25 Ultra that can seriously change how you use your phone. So if you found even one helpful tip, hit that like button. Let's smash our goal of 1000 likes. Comment below and tell me which feature was your favorite or one you're excited to try. Subscribe for more Samsung tips, tutorials, and hidden tricks every day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.